This is probably the most famous series of fountain pens of all time. This is the Mont Blanc 142, 144, 146 and 149. I just take them here to, to show you the difference in size. The one we're going to take a look at is this standard model, the medium size, the 144. This is a pen with a broad nib and let's see how it reacts to writing. You can see it's a very nice wet pen and if you compare the horizontal lines to the vertical lines you can see a nice distribution of different strokes not as sharp as a pen for example like this one to, to, to show you the, the difference between these pens you can see this is a, a pen I tuned fine-tuned you can see how sharp the horizontal lines are and you get a different yeah this is by the way this is a 342 which is the most economic line was the most economic line in the 50s of Mont Blanc but let's take a look at this 140 44 you can see you can always see if this is an original pen you know of the 50s you can see this part of the mechanism is made of brass you can see like most of these pens this discoloration of the celluloid let's see how this pen reacts to writing with absolutely no pressure now with a little bit of pressure you can see this is a very special pen I got this from my grandfather when I was 12 or 13 years old he went into retirement and gave it to me. When I when I got it, uh, it actually had a extra extra fine nib, and I was kind of disappointed to have such a nice pen and with a with an extra fine nib. But being from Hamburg, the problem was solved you know the factory the old factory in Hamburg was just a few subway stations away so I took the subway which is called S-Bahn in Hamburg went to the Mont Blanc house and went up to the lady at the desk and asked her if it was possible to change the nib of this pen and she said no problem she, uh, I think I I could wait for it uh, they they gave it to the to the workshop and within half an hour I had the nib changed and when I asked for the price you know in, in with Mont Blanc I don't know if it's today but they exchanged the the nibs without charging anything. Yeah, let's see some more lettering. We've, we've seen with this other pen, we've seen Guantanamera. We've seen Monday. This is a pen which writes 
very easily. It's not the absolute sharp italic writing, but you get a nice difference between the thin and thick strokes and even if you use a lot of pressure it still follows okay this is the 140 for Mont Blanc pen